This is unbelievable. A fully functional battery powered Raspberry Pi in the box. All right. So now we will do an unboxing and installation of Pi Sugar Zero, which is a portable power supply for your Raspberry Pi. Right. So this is the box, as you can see, nicely packed, small box. So it's the branding, Pi Sugar branding. Then we have two flashcards. One is PySugar.0 at gmail.com for any questions, customer support. Pretty straightforward. And then we have installation in two different languages. Okay, I think uh, this one is uh, English. So Pi Sugar Zero. And the first one is, as you can see, we need a Raspberry Pi, and then it's talking about the installation. So we will figure out where is the power switch for screws. You're going to screw this your Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi board on 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 top of Pi Sugar Zero, and there are a few plugs which we will understand. But as you can see, uh, one is charging port, then the boot option. Power switch. We are interested in power switch. We want to make sure that we can power on and off battery. Also, at the same time, we want to make sure that we can charge the battery time on time. All right. So I'm putting the flashcard out of the site here. Okay. Let's open this. Pretty nice box, small box. Let's put it aside. And now I'm going to open this don't throw the packaging this will come handy while you do your raspberry pi installation and i'll tell you in a moment what is that all right so this is pi sugar zero um, and this is your lithium ion battery as you can see here it's just like battery and uh, this is the board which let me open it once for you as you can see, real up and close. Okay, we have the battery connected to the board, which will eventually have same type of GPIO slots and etc. And this will work as power supply. Okay, the thing I don't think you need to open it up pretty often once it is set. The thing to note is you need to understand these connectors, the copper connectors. They will sit on top of GPIO and uh, let's refresh our GPIO connections. If you are missing them, then this is the GPIO board, looks like. So, starting from uh, port number one, two. Okay, let me see if, yeah, one all the way to 40. And as you can see, one is 3.3 volt two is 5 volt and then we have a couple of ground connections 5 volt connections and this is exactly where you see the copper pins right so this start from two four six so we don't have one but we have two and these are going to sit on top of the respective gpio the rest are empty right they will be used to supply power as you can see there are four screws coming with this we will use this screw to connect to our raspberry pi at this time we are ready um, so this is all comes in the box basically as you can see the box uh, power battery sub and the connector plate all right and now you know how the copper connector looks like what else we will need to for the installation we will need a set of screwdriver we will need our raspberry pi for sure and i'm going to open this um, because this is was a very well cased raspberry pi so i'm going to take it out from the case and finally one piece what we will need is a small monitor so that we can uh, see the raspberry pi booting okay all right, so let me uh, get ready with the things. 
one thing you need to know is on the battery pack you can see here we can drill our screws but these screws there is a lamination sitting on top of that so you may have to first poke a hole so that the screws can go smoothly do it for all four sections and this is all good keep your screws handy four screws small screws okay so make sure you don't lose them and then get ready with your pi all right as you can see your pi is out of the case and just to reiterate the pi numbering gpi numbering starts from this side where we have the camera slot from 1 all the way to 40 and this is how our battery is also aligned so if you keep it horizontal like this then 1 towards the 40 where we have no pins right what you have to do you have to just align it on top of this like this and make sure you are able to screw them all four, four of them don't screw it too hard at the very first because other, otherwise it will be hard to align the rest of the three you can see this is very well aligned right now as you can see black screw is fitting snugly on top of this and i'm going to continue doing the three of them yeah. okay we have finished putting the screw and now raspberry pi board is sitting tightly on top of the battery pack here in battery pack you need to see some of the buttons so this is the usb c charger um usb c charger which will be used to charge the battery then we have toggle power on and off switch and reset switch right so now we are ready to power on the battery before we power on the battery let's connect to the monitor so that we can see pi booting okay you have to make sure that you connect the board properly otherwise you can burn your expensive somewhat expensive raspberry pi so here we have a hdmi connection going back to the monitor okay and about the clutter here but you can see we have the monitor in place and now i'm going to um, lift the battery and just toggle the switch i think this is not very conveniently located for sure because once you connect your hdmi the uh, battery toggle is sitting just behind that and it's very difficult to uh, handle but now i think we are good so let's go ahead and power it down okay voila you can see we have power and here we go you can see raspberry pi booting because we already have the chip you can see the lights on the board here we go welcome to raspberry pi desktop and it is going to boot all right so at this point of time we have no power connection and it is running raspberry pi running from the battery pack itself it can work as a, a ups uh, if i connect the power to the battery and uh, uh, let the raspberry pi continue working but that's not actually the purpose the purpose is to take this board along with the battery anywhere we want right so let's disconnect um, and you need to be very uh, careful while you're touching the board because the electric stat you may dis uh, destroy it. so let's put the monitor aside but what you can do at this point of time if you are doing some kind of experiment then you can take this pie in this small as in this box 
connect maybe a camera, uh, use a uh, GPS chip, velocity tracker, anything, and you can take it along with you on hiking, on, uh, uh, on a trail, anywhere, so that you don't have any power requirement. I'm going to test how the full charge battery, uh, how much time it's going to run uh, uninterrupted, and I'll post the results in the comment section. But so far, it is working really, really nice, and I'm very impressed. So thank you.